Abarkur, a city on the edge of the desert in Iran's central province of Yazd. This ancient city has enjoyed significant importance mostly because of its geographical situation, which places it at the center of a triangle with Yazd, Isfahan and Shiraz as its edges. Despite little rain, this arid city is famous for many things including its architecture that goes in perfect harmony with the region's climate and its civilizational background that goes back at least 4,000 years. Many travel to this part of the world to get a better sense of what adobe structures are all about. But these silent alleys and thick walls have a lot to say. In fact, they protect the immense amount of energy and livelihood that goes on behind them. For thousands of years, the people at Abarku have celebrated life and marked the pages of history under the shadow of one of the oldest living creatures on the face of the earth. A masterpiece of creation, which according to many, is one of the beating hearts of our planet. The first thing that Abaku is famous for is this magnificent tree, a 35-meter-tall cypress which according to experts is almost 4,500 years old. The Abaku cypress, or Sarve Abarku as it's called in Persian, has been here since the age of antiquity. It has stood there witnessing the Elamites way before the reign of Darius the Achaemenid king and prior to the torching of Persepolis by Alexander. سر و ورکو نمادی از ایثار، استقامت و صبوری است. به همین دلیل که مردم خوب ابرکوه رو به این سر و زیبا تشبیه کردن. البته باید بگم که این سر و زیبا منبع الهام خیلی از هنرمندا است. خیلی ها دوست دارن مثل من در مورد شعر بگن. خیلی ها دوست دارن از این سر و زیبا عکس بگیرن و خیلی هم دوست دارن این سر و زیبا رو در آثار هنریشون بگنجونن سروی پر از سار و سلام و سایه و صحبت سروی که سکم صفره های حبسین باشد سرو عبرکوه جهان حالا در این ایام گل کرده در احساس عبیاتی که این باشد Abarkuh has its roots deep into the dawn of human civilization. Just like the cypress tree, life still flows in the ancient city. Exclusive architectural features such as the Jame or Friday Mosque speak out for the uniqueness of Abarkuh. A mosque with two different qiblas, indicators which direct worshippers towards the Muslim's prayer destination which is the Kaaba in Mecca. The indicators are called Mihrab and there are five of them. The question is why they call this a mosque with two different prayer destinations or two qiblas. The fact is that about 800 years ago during the Ilkhanid dynasty when the entire mosque was built, this plasterwork masterpiece was created as a mihrab or an indicator of prayer destination. But as time passed, about five centuries later, some people discovered that the entire structure of the mosque, including the mihrab, were totally built in the wrong direction. So they decided to correct it. So it were the Safavids who finally found this miscalculation and decided to correct it. But since the structure of the mosque enjoyed a noble architecture, there was nothing else they could do but to build a new mihrab in the right direction. And this was the result. A new mihrab with blue Safavid tiles and an inscription in the middle. The Jame Mosque is a complete adobe structure with four arcs that surround a rectangular courtyard. What's interesting about the mihrabs is that none of them have been destroyed during the angle correction process. As a first-time visitor, it is hard to believe that this tiny desert city 
holds a world of mysteries within. In simple terms, Abarkuh is a combination of cultural and natural attractions. An ancient city home to one of the world's oldest inhabitants, a cypress that can tell the tales from an unimaginable past. Amir Mehdi Kazemi for your own. Today we're visiting one of the most beautiful tourist destinations in northwest Iran, the very small but nevertheless very attractive city of Mishkin Shah, which you should definitely not leave out from your itinerary if you're ever visiting this region in Iran. In Iran's northwestern province of Ardabil, the ancient city of Mishkin Shah lies in the scenic landscape of the foothills of Mount Sabalon, Iran's third highest peak after Damovand and Alamku, actually an inactive volcano in the Alborz mountain range with a snow-capped peak all year round. One of the most exciting places to visit in Iran, Mishkin Shah Pedestrian Suspension Bridge has put the city on the map. The bridge takes around 10 minutes to walk, cutting down the journey that previously took up to four hours. بزرگترین مجموعه گردشگری ایران می باشد و اینطوری از کنم خدمت شما که از موقعی که به بهره بردار رسیده یه انقلاب سنتی تو استان اردبیل و میشین شهر به وجود آمده At 356 meters long and 80 meters above the Khiyavchai River, Mishkin Shah Pedestrian Suspension Bridge is the longest of its kind in the Middle East, stretching across the valley it is considered an engineering masterpiece. Now I have to admit that this is quite an experience. A suspense bridge that connects you to the other side of the valley and the beautiful nature that truly attracts you. The breathtaking scenery of the forests and the stunning view of Mount Sabalon add to the thrill of walking 80 meters above the ground. On holidays, more than 3,000 tourists come here just across the bridge. You might find this interesting to know that Sheikh Haidar was the father of King Ismail I, who established the Safavid dynasty, a turning point in Iran's history. And here lies the man who changed Iran's history. Sheikh Haidar's tomb is an 18.5 meter tower decorated with turquoise tiles and brickwork that dates back to the 15th century. من تگی میشین شهر نجین درخشانی در گرمرو به تاریخ و زورافی های آزربایزان کوهن است. میشین جهواری تمتون هزاران ساله و یادگار هزاره های کوهن است. ما حدود 250 اثر ثبتی داریم و 600 اثر ثبت نشده داریم در مشین شهر. نمونه بارز این تمتون روستای پیرزمیان سنگ افراشته های شهر یریست. معبد محبتی پیرزمیان رو داریم که 500 تا از این استیل های سنجی اونزا پاورزاست و حکایت از خالگان هنرهای گذشته دارد و بسیار رمز و راز است اونزا. Talking about Iran's ancient civilization is just a joke until you come here. The statues that you see behind me 
are about 8,000 years old. The ancient city of Yeri, or as the locals call it, Shahri Yeri, was discovered in 1978. It is considered one of the most mysterious archaeological sites, as the secret of these mouthless faces is still unknown. Gisumi Shah Ahmadi for Iran.